Hello and greetings from Iceland. Today I'm going to talk about the hottest highway in my country, since I just got back from a thermal scanning tour with a drone, thermal drone. And for those of you who don't know what this is about, this is the Reykjanes Peninsula in Iceland, here is the Reykjavík, and this is where the road to South Iceland is crossing the plate boundaries by the volcano Hengill. And it was in May 2023 when drivers started to notice steam coming up from the road embankment, or just by a geothermal field that is actually used to produce hot water and electricity in a nearby power station. And uh, those are my images from my first tour, May 15th, 2023. Shot while it was uh, cold outside, late evening, so the geothermal area under the road is popping out. And uh, the road administration drilled a couple of holes there to cool the road down, let out the steam. But the changes in geothermal activity are not necessarily big news, although it is highly unusual to see such changes on the major highways in Iceland. And this is actually highway number one or the ring road. This uh, area is however categorized as a part of the Reykjanes Peninsula that uh, is moving into this long period of unrest three eruptions so far, and the large earthquakes have occurred nearby, so it's not a long shot to assume that uh, they have something to do with this, so I have every reason to include this story as a side story with the unfolding events on the peninsula. And uh, during this third visit of mine, I was focusing at two locations. This is where all this started, where the drill holes are, but no one mentioned the second area, a few hundred meters away, that my drone found very quickly. That's where things have obviously been heating up even more. So let's start with the footage from May. It was cold. Very little heat could be detected there in my earlier shots. But it seems to be warmer now and getting very close to the asphalt so the road administration might have to do something about it. But those two spots on the other side, they were new. That was obvious. So I'm swapping to classic view now from a drone, but note that uh, I'm recording such videos often with the screen recording function that enables me to uh, record the numbers from the thermometers as well. It's the only way to do it. But anyway, those are new fumaroles in the making. The grass is green around them. They are popping out there, but due to how new they are, they won't look like this after the winter. But increased heat, it can't be any clearer than this. So let's move to the other part, where this was uh, detected at first. There we have this little creek with steaming hot water that looked like this from a thermal camera back in May. And this area was very hot indeed, so I got very good contrasts back then. But the scan in July, it was harder because uh, the sun had been shining and that's when things start to look a bit like uh, a Christmas tree. It's the contrasts that I need. And I also made some mistakes, like not to look at the video from July and use the same angles. And that's because uh, I was all over the place looking around since this uh, thermal drone is uh, new to me. And this playing around did actually help me to find some leads to follow later on. Like uh, there is a fracture in the ground under the highway and I need to check it better. And the colder it gets, the easier it gets to uh, scan larger areas, and that is of course my plan. So despite some beginner's mistakes, it's clear that things are heating up there still, slowly but surely, so I will be keeping all my source files from there and scan again during my next trip to South Iceland. This change in geothermal activity might mean nothing, but by time we might see this as a part of some chain of events. At least it will be fun to see those new uh, fumaroles develop into something, since uh, I found them less than two months old, and we can still say that this is the hottest part of the Icelandic highway system. So uh, I will be ending this with some shots that I didn't use now, and again, some of them are shot with the screen recording function, so you can see the thermometer reading. It's not perfect, it does have problems with the steam, not the easiest subject to scan, but the overall accuracy is excellent. And uh, I have to admit that uh, I can't wait to play around with it when we are into winter. 
and my next thermal video will be online soon. It was shot by the village Grindavik recently. And uh, until then, I'm sending you best regards from the Volcano Island, Iceland.